School bathrooms are actually disgusting, bro. Like, I only go in there when it's an emergency. Other than that, I'm not going in there. I don't know who just be chilling in the school bathroom like it's a, just a casual hangout spot. Sometimes people be taking 30-minute breaks from class, but bro, I'm not trying to sit in that must for 30 minutes. I, I don't know who in their right mind is trying to sit there, but apparently a lot of people just like to sit there and vape in the school bathroom. But in school bathrooms, there's all sorts of activities that go down. There's what you call the bathroom functions, bro. I love the bathroom bathroom functions. Unfortunately, I never got to experience one myself, but I've just seen videos and man, it just looks like a blessing. Personally, bro, I'd much rather pull up to a bathroom function than sit in goddamn English class, bro. You know what? Now I kind of see why people go in the bathroom for like 30 minutes straight. And it's really annoying because when I really gotta go, I gotta go. I'm not trying to sit there and hold it, bro. And some teachers really be like, um, actually, Timmy is in the bathroom. You can't go yet. But what do you mean? I gotta piss. Like, you gotta let me go. Like, do you want me to just piss in the trash can? Like, no, bro. Like, I, I gotta go. If you let me get to the point where I can't even hold it anymore, bro, there's no stopping me. I'm pissing in your trash can. Like, I don't know what else to say. There was always rules and regulations of when you can go to the bathroom. It was so stupid, bro. Like, when I gotta go, I gotta go. There's no controlling it. Ah, uh, you should've went during lunch. Bro, what do you mean? I didn't have to go during lunch, bro. Don't question me. I don't know why you're asking. I swear these teachers are always interrogating people about why they're in the bathroom, why they're going to the bathroom. Bro, it's none of your business. Why are you trying to figure out what a child's doing in the bathroom, bro? That's weird as- I mean, shit, I never really really thought about it like that. But now let's just say your teacher finally let you go. After all the trial and tribulations, after basically saying, look, bitch, I'm on the verge of pissing myself. Let me go to the bathroom. You finally get to go and you decide, all right, you know what? I'm going to take a piss and then maybe I'll go on like Clash of Clans or something. Just take an open stall. You sit in there, you're playing Clash of Clans and all of a sudden there's people next to you and you're like, what? What is going on in the stalls next to me? Because you hear noises and you're like, hmm, that's weird as fuck, bro. What the hell's going down? You hear slurping noises. You look down and then you see uh, a girl's knees on the ground and then some dude. Yeah, I don't even think I got to describe what's going on. I think the picture paints itself. There's be, there's be some people doing the most devious shit in the school bathrooms. The school thought we give a dome in the bathroom, bro. That's crazy to me. Because personally, me, the last place that will get me going is the goddamn school bathroom. Like, what the f- Like, hell nah, that shit's gross, bro. There's like toilet paper on the walls and shit. There's like chicken scratch from years ago. Soap dispensers missing. Boogers just fucking all over the toilet and shit. But on the other side, there's a dude on his phone, but you hear noises of a certain video, a certain website that kind of sounds familiar. And then you realize, oh shit, I, I gotta drop one real quick. You're kind of fucked. You really kind of just have to sit there. So what do you even do in that situation? Well, what do you do in that situation? Bro, all right, here's what you gotta do. Take it, take your earbuds out and put on some Playboy Cardi and drown that shit out. That's what I would do, honestly. Just play Playboy Cardi while you're taking a shit. Honestly, that's that, that'll get you juice. That will get you ready to drop one. It's a task that takes a lot of effort, so you just gotta do it. You get out, you're done taking your shit. About 10 minutes has passed. All you can see is vape clouds and all you can smell is strawberry because, of course, a bunch of motherfuckers just came in to vape. I give them props for at least not doing it in class, but bro, come on. You can't go the entire school day without a vape, really. Personally, to me, bro, that just speaks I'm addicted. Like, that's crazy you can't even go six hours without it. So as you can see by that little scenario, school bathrooms are quite the phenomenon. Well, I've had a few of my own experiences kind of similar to that in the school bathroom. One time I walk into a school bathroom and there's some vapors, right? They're, they're, they're hitting their vapes or whatever. I sit down to take a shit. That was my first mistake, okay? You just don't shit in the school bathroom. That's just how it is. Like, and after that day, that, that day forward, I just held it. Like, I'm like, okay, no way I'm doing this again. And they're like, yo, bro, do you want to hit? And I was like, nah, bro, I'm good. I'm good. Then I go to sit down and then they just start making fun of me from in the stall. And they were like, huh, bro, he's such a pussy. He didn't want to hit the vape and then they just shut the lights off on me as they walk out now thanks to these assholes i had to wipe my ass in the dark like are you fucking kidding me bro this is really the last thing i want to experience in the school bathroom bro i had to whip out my goddamn flashlight to wipe my ass that is crazy behavior. and thankfully afterward there was a kid that turned the light on i was like oh thank god bro because i was stuck in there with with no light there was no window nothing our school was practically a prison so it was not like i had sunlight or anything it was practically pitch black even though it was in the middle of the day and for sure this one wasn't just me every time i walk into the bathroom i'd see some cringy ass posters that the teachers would put up and the poster just always said something really dumb and this one in particular that i saw it was an among us poster 
It said, do your tasks, don't jewel. Jeweling is sus. And then I noticed there were posters like that all over the school. And basically everywhere I'd go, I see some dumbass Among Us reference. And that's only just one of my horrid experiences in the school bathroom. Like one time I had this dude just to straight up look at me while I was taking a piss. Like, I don't know what he was doing, bro. I guess he was trying to get a full look. Like, I don't know what the fuck was going on. He was like, hey man, how's it going? I was like, what the hell? I was in like third grade and this dude was in like fifth grade, I think. I don't know. Like, dog, I'm just trying to take a piss. Leave me alone, please. Like, I want to be able to just piss in peace and not have to worry about this shit. That was the most annoying. When there was no dividers on the urinals, bro, that was so tough because people would just turn around and just start striking up a conversation like <laughs> with you like it was like a normal thing to do. Like, imagine if somebody says this to you as you're taking a piss in a musty ass school bathroom. So, man, yeah, the, the weather's been crazy lately. You enjoying your- wait, 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 what the hell, bro? I don't even know what the fuck was going on. But, bro, that wasn't even the worst of it, bro. It got the worst when I got to college, bro. College bathrooms suck, bro. Everyone's talking about how high school bathrooms are booty cheeks, bro. Try college, man. That shit's even worse. I walk in one day, and I'm like, all right, well, time to take a shower. Which shower has hangover throw up in? Which one do I have to avoid? And it's like a little game. Like, you gotta be like, all right, the left one's got the hangover throw up. The right one has snot rockets. All right, we're going in the middle one. You had to figure out which shower was actually clean. And the unfortunate thing is the janitor would only come in once a week, and sometimes he would even forget to clean the shower. So you'd be fucked. If you don't wear slides in college showers, your feet are gonna have some kind of disease. Or bro, I kid you not, one time I walk in and this dude left his pubes in the shower drain. Like this dude is actually disgusting. Like you you have to be like some kind of weirdo, bro. Just leave it chilling on top of the shower drain. <laughs> like what the fuck? I walk in to take a piss one time and I kid you not, I see a uh, a certain stain that uh, you, you might know what I'm talking about. Like on top of that toilet paper, Paper roll thing. And I was like, wow, screw that. Someone just really blew a load in the fucking bathroom stall. All right, looks like I'm going back. I'm holding my piss now. And now the time for me when I was in college, that's when the devious licks thing was going crazy. Everybody was hitting a lick in their goddamn school bathroom. Surprisingly, nobody really took anything. Or maybe a few soap dispensers went missing. I, I have no idea, honestly. I probably just didn't notice because the bathroom was just so disgusting. But now people in high school, you can tell me that if you walked into a bathroom on that very day, you were screwed. Like, there was no way you were even gonna be able to find a urinal. Like, all the urinals were gone, the soap dispensers, basically everything. Like, it was literally just the floor. Or, you know what? Fuck it. They took the floor, too. They took everything. And I don't know, bro, what was worse? The trend itself or the principles over the speaker? They're basically on their knees begging for them to stop. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Can you guys stop doing these delicious licks, please? This is not high school behavior. Thank you. These motherfuckers are practically on their hands and knees begging for people to stop stealing shit. But what were they going to do? They they really couldn't do too much about it. And maybe try and find who did it. Give them some kind of charge. There were no cameras in the bathroom. So you really didn't know. But bro, hopefully you guys enjoy the wordy channel, bro. I love this channel. I love coming on here just ranting about random shit. More videos like this in the future. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.